the last five years or so, what, what's been happening to people with disabilities? Well, we've had the work capability assessment, more people have been affected by that, found fit, found fit for work who are not. Um, the bedroom tax, um, disabled people have been really harmed by that. Um, sanctions now, disabled people in the work related activity group and on job seekers have been really affected by sanctions. Um, the use of food banks gone through the roof, um, cuts to council tax benefit, cuts to housing benefit, people have been affected by that. Um, access to work cuts, they're trying to stop that, so people in work are being affected by that. And the government are trying to close the independent living fund, so disabled people with high support needs are being very affected by that. They're facing a big, bleak future of residential care, or um, no support um, in, at home, um, social care, Cut funding cuts that's decimated us, um, cuts to community uh, services, daycare centres, um, you know, CAB, welfare rights um, centres, advocacy services, um, you know, you name it, we've been affected by it. It's, it's just been absolutely horrendous. And now, four years on, well, disabled people are. We've been left with no money for months at a time. We're facing eviction from um, our homes as we can't afford to pay the rent. We're having a stark choice between heating and eating because many are in fuel poverty and they can't afford the prices. And we're also having horrendous access problems to healthcare. So, so for example, say you want treatment, steroid injections in certain parts of the country that's been rationed or stopped. Um, you can't get access to a GP for over a month at a time. And, um, you know, the cuts are hitting us across a wide range, across the employment sector, across the NHS, um, across the, the social security benefits, social services, you, you name it, and we're being affected. But it's a, it's, it is a multitude of cuts that we're suffering and struggling with. I'm Paula Peters and I'm a member of the National Steering Committee of Disabled People Against Cuts. So in the last week we had um, a big march organised by the TUC, Britain Needs a Pay Rise, and in the run-up to that strikes by workers in a number of sectors. Yeah. What was um, Deepak's response to those things? Well, a lot of our members are trade union members, as I am myself, and our response was to show solidarity and support and be on the picket lines for the strikers. So we were all at our various local hospitals and on, on standing shoulder to shoulder with you know, the midwives, the porters, the radiographers, and it's very important that, that we do that. It's, you know, when they're on strike, we stand with them. When we do an action, they need to stand with us. It's, I think that the trade union motto, unity is strength, there's got to be really sustained feeling behind that because unity is strength. If we're more strength in numbers, so, yeah. And, you know, we're very disappointed about the local government strike being called off. That was a very a huge disappointment. Um, to be honest with you, the TUC march, I think, to be honest, you need more coordinated strike action. And I think that's got to be prolonged. You can't have different strikes on different days. You've got to have coordinated strike action over a long period of time. But the problem is, you've only got six million union members. And a lot of union members are saying they can't afford to strike because they, they, lose, they lose pay, they've got bills to pay, they've had a real fall in wages which has decimated them. But the only way we're going to now this government is literally we all come together and we all collectively, we say not in our name to do this anymore, we've had enough. How can people find out more about Deepak and what, what, um, what will it involve find, if they get involved? Um, well, you can find out about us on our website, which is www.deepak.uk.net. Um, we have an outreach of over 50,000 members, 
started in 2010 and we, we do a lot of direct, direct action, peaceful non-violent direct action, um, which we did at Westminster Abbey, so you can see a lot of footage on us on, on various different networks. And basically we do a lot of uh, research reports, writing, and basically I think we need to get the message out that anyone can develop a devastating illness, you can be struck down by a devastating illness, you can be hit by a car, end up in a wheelchair, you can be born with a disability, no one's immune from that. You can be put through a work capability assessment, PIP, um, be put through an ATOS assessment and you know, be called a scrounger and I want to get the message out to people. You know, Freud thinks that we're not even worth the minimum wage. We are worth more than that. We are worth decent access to employment with the right support, decent access to healthcare, decent access to employment. And I say to people, we are you, you are us, and we fight together.